Okay, today first we're going to start, um, we're going to make a little St. Patrick's Day uh, pillow uh, box. And we'll be using the Sizzix box pillow um, die. So we make our sandwich, put our clear plate on the bottom, our die in the middle, and our one piece of paper on the top. Um, I'm making these green because they're going to be, um, like I said, St. Patrick's Day, and I'm going to take them to my Bible study. So, we'll make our sandwich here and run it through. I actually cut these, this piece of paper, a little bit too short, so um, I just need to see if that's going to be okay with. with how I um, need to make this box end. <clears throat> so all this is going to do is um, we have our tab here and we'll place a little bit of sticky tape on that and then we'll attach it over here and turn it into our pillow. We'll tuck our little ends in and we'll have our little pillow die. And I, like I said, I did it in green to um, make it St. Patrick's. So the next part, um, I'll show you, I have my sticky tape here on the box, so we'll fold that here in just a second, but I'm going to stamp um, my pieces that I'm going to make my floor, four leaf clover out of. Now I've chosen the um, I Heart Hearts stamp set, and I chose the um, heart that says friend in it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm using old olive ink, and I am going to stamp my four clovers, and I'm just using a, a scrap piece of cardstock here. Now, I want to be careful when I'm stamping um, so that I line up the direction of the stamp with the um, how I'm going to need to punch it. I'm going to punch all of these out because I love the coordinating punches and um, not having to worry about cutting them out by hand. So let me get my four little clover leaves here. That last one didn't turn out too well. One more. Okay, much better. So like I said, I'll take my um, heart-shaped punch and line it up with the, turn it upside down and line it up with the hearts that I stamped. And I'm going to punch all four of those out and I will show you how we're going to make the pillow box. our clover on top of it. Okay, so that's that. Now, the pillow box, i just remove my sticky tape and close it. Sure, I get it lined up nice so that it has a nice crisp edge there. And then one of my ends I will tuck in to have it closed. I'm going to stick just a few little um, candies in here, or um, probably some MMs, see what I can find in St. Patrick's Day colors. Now, I don't necessarily want, I guess I shouldn't have done this. I don't want to fold this quite yet. I love this. Um, we use cel certainly celery paper and um, old olive ink, and I absolutely love the colors um, green and purple together. So I have grabbed some rich razzleberry uh, ribbon, and I'm just going to uh, tie a small amount of ribbon around the box just because. I think it needs a little something and a little bit extra color um, other than just um, green. So 
like I said, I'm just going to tie a very simple ribbon around here and we will see how that turns out. But this ribbon's actually going to be under, well, maybe we'll make it next to. I, obviously, I can tell you I haven't um, done a sample of this before as I'm changing my mind as I go. Maybe we'll do it off to the side here. We'll just kind of snip our